What's up, Mogulites? It's your boy Midwest Chief here bringing you today my Super Warrior deck profile. And um, I ain't gonna do an intro today. I just wanna um, do a quick little short message. Um, at first, I wasn't gonna do one because I really had a hard time grasping the whole concept of this deck. I, I will honestly say that this is my probably the hardest deck I had to learn throughout buddy fight and I know it's real fucking simple but like cards like for example um single player mode which I call um a symbol hero I didn't play it at first in my in my deck and now I see why that card is almost the, the win condition button um I wasn't playing Gal which is the um, Rampage Sonic I start playing it and so it's like that video where you saw me playing as Astro, that's, that was me just trying to, my first game would crack at the deck, so as we can see what happened, um, the O2, shameful, shameful indeed. But um, anyway, so my boy from Bushy Road, Christian uh, Spears, I believe that's his um, last name, he wanted a Super Warrior deck, and you know, that's my boy, always gotta look out for him. So I, you know, I got him the deck. And he needed help with the deck, so that means I had to actually really learn this deck. Cause I was like, okay, that video's out. Okay, whatever, I'm done. And he actually wanted help, so I really wanted to help him. So I had to go and study that deck, and now I have came to understand and even appreciate this deck. And uh, this video is dedicated to Christian, so you can Christian you can always go watch this video, um, or you can text or call me. You know, you have my phone number. And we can talk about it, but if you just want to do a quick reference sheet, Christian, I'm probably going to do some combos for you at the end of the video, um, so you can only have something to go over. Um, so, if y'all hear me calling cards different names, it's this this video is mainly dedicated for Christian. Like all my other Super Warrior players, I love y'all and everything like that, but this video is because of him. Like this video wouldn't have exist if he didn't push me to actually go and learn this deck. So, that's it. Let's get on to the deck profile. All right, Christian and other Super Warrior players. Um, Hero World, my buddy's gonna be um, Jim Clone Origin Cloak. You can really make anything your buddy in this deck if you want. Um, I mainly make Jim Clone my buddy because it's something I know I'm going to go into and I was able to get the um, buddy rare. That's the only reason why. And um, so anyway, I'm going to go into my monsters, play four, Jim Clone. Jim Clone is the bread and the butter of the deck. He is your one of only two targets for you to actually impact transform into. You actually cannot pay the impact transform cost on your other impact monsters. His is going to be two gauge, has triple attack. He is the thing that lets you go ahead and dual impact transform. So once per turn during either player's turn, you can go ahead and put a second monster a second impact monster onto the um, flag with them. So like for example you can like have this and go into this. So now you have both these on your thing. So this will have an attack, this will have a, still have its triple attack. It's basically like dual wielding from Dungeon World. And so anyway, so you can impact transform into them without paying their impact transform cost. He can only do two impact transforms a turn. So the turn you go into him you can do one more and that's it. No more impact transformings for that um, turn. And then, um, what else? Okay, the impact monster you transform into cannot be bounced, destroyed, or returned to the hand. All right, so he has triple attack. Um, yeah, there ain't much else, else to really say about him. Um, he, he enables all your little combos. Next four of you have four. Mirror Hero, Makuro, Infinity Death Crest. I was trying him out of three. I really like him for the mirror match. No pun intended. But anywho, when you let me read this one more time. Okay, while you have Jim Clone in his card name, you are transforming to that card. He is plus five, plus five, and he cannot and plus one critical, and he cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And no monsters on your side of the field can be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Counter, you can discard a card from your hand. Is it a card? 
Yeah. Drop a hand card, choose one of the following two. Stand two cards, rest two cards. Penetrate, Soul Guard, Impact Transform. Impact Transform part is irrelevant because if you ever tra Impact Transform into him, you'll be using him through the Gym Clones ability, as I said earlier. Moving on. Oh, sorry. One more thing about him. This is a soft once per turn. So if you manage to get a new one out, you can go ahead and use that effect again. So like, let's say for example, you know what? I will go into that when I show you the next card. The next card is going to be for Blazer Fill and Max Vantage. Now there is a Blazer Fill in the deck already. So I just call this one the Max Vantage to not confuse myself. And um, she lets you get another impact summon because as you know impact transforms are only not impact transform impact calls are only once per turn so like in if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh viewers it's like a normal summon you can only do one call and if you can call through an effect like through her or through other spells in the deck I'll show you later in the video you can do more than one call so her effect is counter if you're transforming to her may pay one gauge pick up to one so you can pick zero and then call up to one. So you can also call zero. And um, without paying their call cost. And you can do that ability once per turn. So usually, um, like, like I said for that Makuro. So let's say you have the Makuro right, let's say here on the center. Or let's say, you know what? Let's say it's on the left. And you use, her, use his effect to rest two cards. And now you want to use her ability, pick this up, call this back out. It's a new Makuro. You can use this Makuro's effect again. Discard a card, rest two more cards. You rest four cards total. So that's what I meant by you can use her to reuse soft one per turn effects. And also the cards in the center, you can use her to pick it up and call a new monster out so that battle will miss target. And then you can have a new monster in the center to help you defend yourself. Next card we got is going to be four Ein's Formula. This is basically the charge two, draw two, at the cost of discarding a superhero, you need know, a super warrior. And um, it's a hard once per turn, but you can use someone like her, like let's say you attack on your first turn, then you call this, do the effect. Then you can, when your opponent goes to attack you, you can use her effect to pick it back up, call it back out, use his effect, discard another super um, warrior, gain two gauge, draw two more cards. So you have, Gauge for and drew for. So, anyway, he has another effect. When he swings, he can blow up a card on your opponent's field. If you destroy the card, you deal one damage. Um, next up is the Discard Fodder. She, she's more than Discard Fodder. I'm, I'm starting to really like her. Um, this is the Blazer Frill. Like, as you can see, she's on both cards, but this one's called Blazer Fruit and Max Vantage, while the other one is just her by herself. So that's why I call this one Max Vantage, I call this one Blazer Fruit. So anyway, Blazer Fruit, br tongue tied, Blazer Fruit has a effect when she is discarded. You can charge one, draw one. And then, um... If you are transformed, you get to charge and draw. I just wanted to double check that. Anyway, when she's entered the board by a card effect, so versus if you're using her effect to call her out, or you're using gem clone effect to make this your second impact transform for the turn, her effect will proc. You can either one, bounce two cards, or two, destroy two cards. And um, she has double attack, she has move, there have been some games where I will have her on the left be impact transform into these. When they enter battle, I will move her. Then when they go to attack, I will use her effect to pick this up, call out Iron Formula. Then Iron Formula will discard her to gain two gauge, draw two cards. Her effect will proc, and I will charge and draw. So she also has double attack. So she comes in on... Um, she comes in handy on the offensive and defensive plays a lot more than I um, first anticipated. But um, another reason why she's still at four, because this is also a discard target. Because you got to discard a card from your hand to do his rest two or stand two. I usually aim for this. So both these cards can use her for, for, for discarding. Discarding. Dis discarding. 
Um, next up should be, hold on. I have this all sorted out. Give me one second. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's it for my four ofs on, on the monsters. My three ofs is um, Blaster Knuckle. I call him Knuckle Duster. Uh, me and Christian, we also just call him Gal because it's Gal's face. Um, this guy is, um, I slept on him super hard. Like, I hit the snooze alarm. I went back to bed. I just slept the whole day away on this boy. And I humbly apologize to anyone who I told do not play this card. I don't know what I was smoking. I'm pretty sure I didn't tell y'all that. I'm pretty sure I just told y'all I didn't, I didn't have the room in there at first. Anywho, when they have no monsters on the field, he has plus three crits. So he can go and hit for um six. So that's usually the opening play you want to do. Because there's a spell I'm going to show y'all a little bit later. Where you basically get hit your opponent all the way down to two life on the opening turn. And just really, really hit them hard. But anyway, he also... When a Super Warrior Superhero is in battle with a with a monster, the, your opponent can't cast counters. And when he kills a monster, he can stand. He also has penetrate. So he really is my field sweeper. We call him the janitor. He will clean up the board. Um, that's all I can say about him right now. I'll explain some more about him later when I get deeper into the deck profile. Next up, that was it for my three of's. Well, he is the only three of's, excuse me. Next, I played two, the end over. I don't know. I kind of want to kick this to three. I kind of want to keep it the way it is. Side some more. I'm not sure. But, um, well, I'm transformed into a car. So, it doesn't got to be him. He could be Jim Clone or someone else. But as long as he's on the field somewhere, you're transformed. Damage you take is reduced by two. And, <clears throat> excuse me. That's a lot of talking. My throat's getting a little dry. Um, counter at, during each player attack phase and final phase. You can choose one card your opponent field and drop a superhero or super warrior from your hand if you do all cards on the field not all cards excuse me all soul of the chosen card is dropped and then you may destroy that card you can only use ability once per turn so it's a soft once per turn but i got two of them on board i can do both their effects also another discard target for her so you have three different discard outlets for your blazer frills Uh, I guess I can do my yeah okay I'm gonna do my um, four ofs here just give me a hot second okay I play four finished road extra this is basically the gym clone searcher you can pay one gauge search your deck for a, a size two or greater super warrior from your deck or call to any size super oh sorry sorry a size two or less super warrior from your graveyard so. This can um, help you extend your plays. It's like Monster Reborn for those who play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it can get you some more attacks. It also is your um, Gem Clone Searcher. I don't play. I don't play Fine Joker. I probably would play it at one if I could find that Triple Golden Buddy Trial Deck. But the only one I found it was a little bit on my price range. And now that the game is um audio is completed, I won't say canceled. I won't say discontinued. I won't say anything negative. I'm just gonna say the adventure was completed. And um, I kind of don't want to get it now. <laughs> but um, anywho, yeah, so this is a search for a gem clone. I personally usually open up the gem clone, or I can get it off this other four of I'm going to go into next. The next four of I'm going to go into is called The Future. The future. Check top four. Add any super warriors from them into your hand. Put the rest into your gauge. Um, so this helps you check the top four to grab monsters and grab guys. So um, so between this, this, and Jim Clone himself, I kind of just hope everything works out. I I did I do keep the deck at 50 and play all these at four, including the Jim Clone. So just a numbers game. Really hope I could just open it. Like I said, if I don't, and I'm really into sticky waters, I always just impact transform into the um, gal, because the gal can um, impact transform for only two gauge. Has the same impact transform cost as um, as um, Jim Clone. Sorry, I got this. I got distracted. My um, brewmaster Steven is walking around. 
doing a funny little dance. And her thoughts rightfully never got their chance here. Fuck that. <laughs> What's shame? Emperor is so dumb. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. So <laughs> okay, next up is the draw spell. Two draw extra. Two draw extra is basically um pay one gauge. Um draw two cards if you're impact if you're impact transform. Also if you're impact transform to two things, you can gain two life and burn two. So Christian, that's why I was talking about the whole push your opponent down to two life. So you can do this, swing six, then play this, draw two, then burn them two. So six and two that's eight. Still haven't figured out how to do the last two damage, but for the FTK, but we'll get there. We'll get there. This is a hard ones per turn. Back to that golden buddy box I was telling you about. If I could, I'll play this at three and play the two draw at probably two or three. Just like so I can draw more cards and do more digging. But this is also perfectly fine. Next for of uh, the phase ender. Something that helps me in the mirror match unless they play single player mode. Um, this is basically a de-alteration. Um, nullify the attack if they um, have attacked three or more times and your impact transform in the phase. This is really nice because in the mirror match, that's the final phase. So you, you in the final phase, you end the turn, basically. Uh, that is it for my four ofs. My three ofs. Between you and me, I really want to play this at four. It's a charge of drawing on life. I don't know. That's just me. I actually immensely enjoy this card, and um, I want to say it, I want to say the fifty, and I ain't budging on any on any other space. I might cut him a curl down for this. I might, to be completely honest with you, but I think I want to keep that at four for the mirror match as well. We have like three or maybe four Super Warrior decks running around Car Fighters Underground right now, so it's um Justice City around here. But anyway. Doing the friendly about a shield. You know what a shield does. Next, we play Reject Flash. This is the special summon. So, gain two gauge regardless. Then, you may special summon a monster. If you do, you draw two cards. Um, you, also pay, you also gotta pay the call cost, but anyway, um, what I really like to do with this card is I really like to do this to charge two. Then, I draw two. I, I don't draw two yet. I charge two call this, I draw two, then use this skill to charge two and draw two more. I love doing that. That makes me so happy doing that play. But um, you, can, you can really call anything you want, to be to be honest. It is a hard once per turn. That's why I play it at three. And I think I do enough digging to see it. Um, the last card, was, we play the single player mode. So this card, um, Kirshif, if he if he watches my video, I watch his videos. I don't know if he watches mine, so um, share, share the love. Anyway, um, a symbol hero is his real name, but it should just read turning a multiplayer game into a single player game. Um, you basically will have him, him, and shoot. Like today, today at locals, what I did was, oh, I'm trying to find the, the second copy of him. Have this, I go a symbol hero, target this, triple link attack. He had no cards on board, so 6, 12, 15. I had to pick my cards up. Uh, it also says your cards can't be destroyed or rested. Effects can be nullified, but that part never really matters. Just the, your opponent can't cast counters when you're doing link attacks with the chosen card. This card is so unfair. Oh my god, it's so unfair. Uh, one thing I want to um, say about the um, the deck, for those who are wondering about Buddy Grandis's, I could play this at 2 and play a 52 card deck. Uh, I kind of don't like Buddy Grandis in this deck. That's personally just me. If you play in your deck, there is nothing wrong with that at all. That is great. Christian, I know you don't got Buddy Grandis's. These two are yours. I am, finna, I am finna pack these up and ship these off to you. By the time you watch these videos, these should be in your hands. Much love from the Chief. Um, also got your little Grace of the Sun deities coming too. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you two, okay? I got one right here, but I got the other one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab it, and um, you know, go ahead, do that remote fight. Kick, kick that butt for me, my fr my fellow brother from from Wakanda. But anyway, cyborg. We're not gonna go to the cyborg. You know, you don't do that. Anyway, um, that's it for the video. I will be trying to catch up with Mr. Bojangles to do my run back against Astro Dragons, 
until then I'll be using this deck to play against other people on versus video so Christian make sure you check those out so you can watch me play the deck so you can understand the plays I'm doing anyway no pun intended but final phase